We started in 1919 in Springfield, Massachusetts. An answer to the questions raised by a changing world. Where people moving from the farms to the cities lack the skills and support needed to find their way forward. We endured through the Great Depression. We grew nationally with the expansion of the interstate highway system and globally with the advent of the jet age. As the economy moved from manufacturing to service, we entered the nation's classrooms. We were one of the first organizations to bring computers into schools and ran global business simulations years before the creation of the World Wide Web. Internationally, we persevered through the changing tides of history, offering hope in the townships of South Africa in defiance of apartheid, helping to rebuild lives in Eastern Europe after the fall of the Berlin Wall, giving young entrepreneurs the tools to navigate emerging economies around the world, and empowering young women in the face of those who would seek to marginalize them. We have endured depressions, recessions, wars, conflicts, and apathy. We have reached 100 million people and have helped them become more likely to finish school, earn a degree, start a business, and escape poverty. Our efforts have been lauded by educators, universities, CEOs, and world leaders, and most importantly, by those whose lives we have helped change for the better. Now we begin our next chapter. In 2019, we are turning 100. And while we honor our history, it's important to note that we view it as the foundation for our future. Today, 60% of employers say recent graduates lack basic job skills, 90% of businesses fail in the first five years, and 72% of Americans say they struggle with money-related stress. Our goal is to ensure that the next generation is 100% ready to take on the world. Some may say this is work better left to those that are younger, newer to the scene, more innovative. But you don't make it this long without being innovative, adaptable, and open to life-changing ideas. Because when you start marking your age in centuries, it doesn't make you old. It makes you timeless.